opera. Ladies and jerks, there's been a slight change in tonight's show. Instead of the opera robbing you for something like a thousand bucks a seat, we're going to rob you. Believe me, folks, I've seen it already. I'm doing you a big favor. This is outrageous. I'm going to call the police. Don't you hate this? You're trying to have a nice night on the town, and some peanut brain forgets to turn off the cell phones and pages during the performance. My sources had her working out of Metropolis of late, teamed with Poison Ivy, and with Ivy's capture in Metropolis, a subsequent deportation back to Gotham City. The lamb was sure to follow. Well, if it ain't zillionaire Bruce Wayne... Don't tell anybody, but I get all goosebump pimply when I'm robbing the rich and famous. Hey, you look awfully familiar, sister. You ever spend time in Arkham Asylum? No. Too bad. You'd be very popular. Please take whatever you want. Just, you're kidding, right? I ain't bargain hunting, lady. Now, let's see what you got here. Mr. Gonna Drop a Dime on me. Don't you dare. Listen to you, like you got a choice. Oh, pretty. I recognize this piece. It was a gift from Tommy's mother. What is it, Tommy? My mom gave it to me, Bruce. It's a circle. That means life goes on or something like that. It looks like a lifesaver. I'm going to swallow it. Hey, give it back. Give it back, Bruce, or I'll hurt you so bad. Here, take it. I'm sorry, Tommy. I was just fooling around. The Jade Pendant was very important to Tommy. No! I know something of the mother things. Find his keepers! Losers! That are taken by a thief in the night. What you go and push me for? That bad man wants to wreck all our fun. That's it, boys. Break down the house. Once again, my enemies overstepped their customary boundaries. Hardly has never tried something this big. Dr. Elliot, get down, you idiot. I know what I'm doing. No one takes me away from me. No one. Bruce, tell your friend. I think we went off to help. Well, you're not going to let them have all the fun, are you? Leslie, I can't leave you. Oh, posh, I've been through worse. Now I'm sure you've got something in that black bag of yours besides the wallet and lipstick. So don't you let anybody get hurt. Alfred will be disappointed I didn't make it until the intermission. My big opening's night, and look who's trying to upstage me! My first responsibility is the safety of the patrons. As long as the gunmen remain in the orchestra pit, I can keep this contained. Mace, smoke, flash grenades, batarangs. Tsk, 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 Mr. P. You really only know how to stick to the script, huh? Script? In the past, Harley's been, at best, delusional, but... Could this entire robbery be scripted, and for whom? Ugh. I've been wearing a cowl with Kevlar reinforcement to protect my skull from a recent head injury. But tonight, I insisted it would be fine without it, despite Alfred's concerns. A little work on the Empire might do you some good. I thought I was stronger. I needed to be stronger, and my enemy takes advantage of my hubris. Ivy and I had a sweet thing going before this whole mess started. Maybe I should go off book and blow your brains out at the end right now. Head spinning. Blood. Badly conceived, badly acted, badly staged. The audience actually wants their money back. Oh, Catwoman! Everybody's a critic. Oof. Oh, great. An understudy for Robin. The Boy hostage. No. Not ever. <sighs> hey, if you don't want the part, don't play the part, cat lady. 
That concludes this evening's performance. Mrs. Quinn can be seen in the clean getaway written by the starlet herself. I want what you stole from me. And people want ice water in hell. But what that, does that mean? They're not going to get it. Applause, applause, applause. Give it back. Selena's earring hardly came this way. My head's on fire. But after what Harley did to Selena, I have to... No! No! That's how you make an entrance! <laughs> there was something about the opera, how they often ended in tragedy, that my father found appealing. And 